Hello everyone and welcome to today's video on Lean Thinking at Simply Learn. Do you know friends that Lean Thinking is a management philosophy originating from Toyota's production system. Lean Thinking focuses on maximizing value while minimizing waste, emphasizing continuous improvement and respect for people. It aims to streamline processes, reduce inefficiencies, and also enhance productivity by identifying and by eliminating non-value adding activities. By applying lean principles such as just-in-time production and continuous flow, organizations can optimize operations, enhance customer satisfaction, and achieve sustainable growth. Now before you move on and learn more about it, I request you guys that do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon for further updates. So here's the agenda for our today's session. So guys, we are going to start our session with an introduction to what is lean thinking. Moving ahead, we will discuss about what is the goal of lean thinking. Then we will deep dive into five principles of lean thinking. And at the end, we are going to conclude our sessions with lean tools and techniques. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. Just a quick info, guys. If you are interested in Lean Six Sigma Green Belt certification, then Simply Learn has got you covered. You can boost your career in Lean Six Sigma by earning your Lean Six Sigma Green Belt certification. Learn the DMAIC methodology with real-world case studies and the skills you need to help your organization grow with our Lean Six Sigma Green Belt certification. Hurry up and join now. The course link is mentioned in the description box. So guys, let's start with what is lean thinking. Did you know that Google, the big tech company, got some cool ideas from the car factories to make its software better? They looked at how Toyota makes cars and thought, hey, we can do that too, but with the software. Google wanted to make its apps and stuff faster and better. So they borrowed a trick from Toyota called lean thinking. It's all about making things that people want and cutting out the stuff they don't need. First, Google listened hard to what users wanted. Then they looked at how they make softwares from start to finish. They found places where things got slow or messy and fixed them up. Instead of making a bunch of stuff and hoping people like it, Google started making just what people needed right when they needed it. And that's the way they didn't waste time or energy. But the coolest part, Google made a culture where everyone always trying to make things better. They call it continuous improvement. It's like they are always trying to find out new stuffs and making changes to make their software awesome. So Google didn't just make better software. They also showed that you can learn cool stuff from unexpected places like car factories and use it to make own things better. Sounds very cool. Now, lean thinking is a management philosophy and operational strategy aimed at maximizing customer value while minimizing the waste. It is originated from Toyota's production system and has been widely adopted across industries worldwide. At its core, lean thinking focuses on creating more value for customers with fewer resources by identifying and eliminating activities that do not contribute to this value. Lean thinking emphasizes respect for people empowering employees to contribute ideas for improvement and fostering a culture of continuous learning and innovation. By applying lean principles and tools such as value stream mapping, 5S methodology, Kanban system, and many more, organizations can enhance efficiency, quality, customer satisfaction, while reducing cost and lead times. Now let us move on and discuss about what are the goals of lean thinking. So guys, the goal of lean thinking is to maximize customer value while minimizing the waste. This overarching objective is achieved through several key aims. The first one is value creation. Identify and understand what customers perceive as valuable and focus resources on delivering that value efficiently. Next one is continuous improvement. They foster a culture of continuous improvement, also known as Kaizen throughout the organization where all employees are empowered to identify and implement incremental changes to enhance processes, products, and services. And finally, we have streamlined processes. With this, 
They optimize workflows and production systems to ensure smooth and efficient operations with minimal delays and bottlenecks and also interruptions. So these were some of the goals of lean thinking. Now let us move on and try to understand the principles of lean thinking. So guys, the principles of lean thinking are as follows. The first one is defining value. Second one is value stream mapping. Third one is creating a flow. Fourth one is establishing a pull. And the fifth one is continuous improvement. Now let us move on and discuss each one of them one by one. So the first one is value. So guys, if I talk about value, it means that you are going to identify and understand the specific value that customers are willing to pay for it. This involves defining value from the customer's perspective and focusing efforts and resources on delivering that value. Next one is value stream mapping. So guys, here in this scenario, you are going to map the entire value stream for a product or a service from raw materials to delivery to the customer. This includes identifying all the steps and processes involved, both value adding and non-value adding, to understand how value is created and where waste exists. Third one we have all over here is creating a flow. You're going to ensure the smooth and continuous flow of work or production throughout the value stream. You're going to minimize interruptions, delays, batch processing to facilitate a seamless flow of materials, informations and activities. Next one we have all over here is pull. So guys, while creating a pull, you're going to implement pull-based production systems, where goods or services are produced in response to actual customer demand rather than forecasted demand. This helps reduce inventory levels, minimize overproduction, and improve responsiveness to customer needs. And finally, we have is continuous improvement. Here, you're going to strive for continuous improvement and perfection in all aspects of organization. This involves relentlessly eliminating waste, optimizing processes, empowering employees to contribute to improvement efforts and pursuing excellence in quality, efficiency, and customer satisfaction. These principles serve as a guiding frameworks for organizations seeking to adopt lean thinking and drive sustainable improvements in productivity, quality, and customer value. So guys, these were some of the key principles of the lean. Now let us move on and discover lean tools and techniques. So guys, the first one that we have all over here, that is 5S methodology. It is a systematic approach to workplace organization and cleanliness, consisting of sort set in order, shine, standardize, and sustain. 5S aims to create a clean, organized, and efficient work environment. Next one we have all over here is value stream mapping. A value stream mapping is a visual representation of the end-to-end -end process flow, highlighting both value adding and non-value adding activities. Value stream mapping helps identify opportunities for improvement and waste reduction. Next one we have is Kaizen Events. It is a short-term focused improvement projects aimed at addressing specific issues or opportunities within a process or workflow. Kaizen Events involve cross-functional teams working together to implement rapid improvements. Next one we have is just-in-time production. Producing goods or services only when they are needed in the quantity required and at the right time is called just in time. JIT helps minimize inventory levels, reduce lead times, and improve responsiveness to customer demand. Next one we have is Kanban systems. Kanban system is a visual scheduling system that uses cards or signals to control the flow of work through a process. Kanban helps balance workloads, reduce overproduction, and maintain optimal inventory levels. Next one is Poka Yog which is an error proofing. Here, you're going to design processes or systems to prevent errors or defects from occurring. Poka Yoke techniques include using visual cues, mistake proofing device, and automated checks to eliminate mistakes at the source. Next one we have is Total Productive Maintenance, or TPM. It is a systematic approach to equipment maintenance aimed at maximizing machine availability, reliability, and performance. TPM focuses on proactive maintenance, employee involvement, and continuous improvement. And finally, we have is continuous flow. Here, you are going to design processes to achieve a smooth, continuous flow of work or production with minimal interruptions or delays. Continuous flow helps reduce cycle times, eliminate bottlenecks, and also optimize resource utilization. 
So guys, these were some of the lean tools and techniques which is generally employed in the industry to improve the product development. So guys, that was all for today's video. I hope so. You would have enjoyed our today's video on lean thinking. Thank you for watching this. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts. Choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.